Hello guys, welcome back to LK Cubic. Today I'm gonna review the MGC 7x7. Firstly, this one is $35 and that's not cheap to be frank. So this is not actually a budget cube. Its size is 68mm, a lot bigger than an average 7x7, so you might have to consider that. And its weight is 200 grams. Again a little bit just a little bit heavier than a spark, its biggest competitor. The first came out really really nice, though I'd say the green can be a little bit darker. Out of the box, the cube is really really slow. However, I added some marrow loop on the inner layers and the outer layers, just a few drops, and that speeded up a lot. The cube also comes in very loose tensions, so if you try to loosen it, then it'll just pop a lot, so I will just recommend you not to loosen it. However, if you tighten it, it will start to slow down and lock up a lot, so I think the factory tensions are actually perfect. So the magnet strength on the inner layers are strong, but it doesn't catch the other layers when you turn the outer ones. It doesn't catch with the inner layers, so that's pretty nice. Magnets on the outer layers are also very strong, just not as strong as the inner ones. So the outer layers, it cuts about one and a half cubies. But more than that, it just locks up and sometimes it pops and it's annoying, so don't try to corn cut more than that. For inner layers, it can cut about half a cube, cube here, here. As you can see, if you do a little bit more than that, it just starts to lock up again. So I'm not sure if that's good or not, but yeah, it just happens like that. For turning feel, it's not, it's not what I call smooth. I'd say it's kind of rough and clunky feeling to it. However, it's still pretty fast, like most of the MGC cubes. If you're concerned about popping, then it doesn't really happen much in the MGC 7x7 unless you just try to force corn cut it or you make it very very loose, so you don't have to worry about pops. For accessories, it comes with spare spring and magnets. It also comes with a screwdriver, which is nice and a DIY cube stand. I mean, the DIY cube stand is a pretty cool idea, but however, it just cannot withstand the weight of a 7x7, so it doesn't work. Just some last things that I want to talk about before I end this video. Uh, corner twists are impossible, which is great. Also, outer layers are bigger, which makes 3x3 stage easier, of course. Also, layers are consistent. It wouldn't be like the inner layers are faster and the outer layers are slower, it's all consistent throughout the cube. Make sure if you just get something cheap like an M, like that little man. Oh my god! So in terms of performance, it's really in such a cheap standard. It's stable, it's fast, and it has a bulky feel that's quite satisfying, I'd say. So, will I recommend you to buy this cube? If you're a beginner, definitely yes. This is much cheaper than a flagship cube, but it has the same quality. If you just get something cheap like the little magic sun by seven i'm not saying it's bad just you'll just end up getting this anyways if you just continue practicing seven by seven so yeah you just end up regretting it if you didn't buy this one in the first place so i hope this review helped you if it didn't then you can surely uh, leave your questions in the comment section below and i'll answer them as quick as possible thanks for watching be sure to subscribe and see you later